Hi everyone. Uh, this is another video. I just finished my 48 volt battery. This is a 48 volt battery. I set it up pretty nice. Now what, what am I gonna to do is testing it. So let me show you guys how much the weight, how much this thing weight. Uh, but what's the what's the voltage on it? It's it's actually. 52.5 so battery is 52.5 what I'm going to do I'm going to set up in a I'm going to use an inverter I'm going to use this this I believe uh, only this is on the back if you look at the back this is about 15 no wait 1500 watt 1500 watt and I believe this is 12.5 uh, amp this thing need to run. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty nice machine though. It's heat up the house pretty good. And warm pretty good. So now it just happened. I have an inverter. So you guys are gonna have a free a free update, a free test on this inverter. I just got it. And it's a 3000 watt. So this is more enough to start this. This says it's pure wave, pure wave inverter. So I'm about to unboxing it and test it with you guys. So you're getting two videos instead of one. Okay. Now you can come up with a couple of fuels. I think five of them. This is the manual for it. I don't think I need the manual. And put the box away now I'm, I'm about to test my inverter and and the pack that the 48 pack battery that I just set up yes I just created okay now I'm still trying to set up the inverter oh this is pretty good it's stay steady this is pretty good now this is a bit awkward because I don't have that much room in here. Now yeah, this is temporary. This is going to last at least uh, five minutes. So you guys have to bear with me. I don't have a big table. My working station is not that big. This is a simple video. I just wanted to just test in the battery and see if it works. Okay, now in the past I used to plug my positive. I, I plug everything already. So all the wire is being put on. In the past, I usually touch this thing and the thing do spark. But now I have a different new toy. So I'm gonna see if this thing is gonna not to do spark. I'm gonna use this ohm. This is a so if you guys can read this. Where is it? It's a yeah. Camera cannot do it, cannot read it. All right, guys, uh, this is the name of it. Uh, it's I bought this thing from Amazon, it's a hundred watt and eight ohms. So, hopefully, this doesn't do spark. I don't like spark. Let's see, I don't like spark at all. I'm scared of this thing. I always have my glasses and my, my gloves, so I like wearing my gloves. I'm scared of this thing. So I put the thing here. Touch it here. And touch it here. No spark. Let it sit there for a while. Jesus Christ, this is good. No spark. <laughs> this is amazing. Let it sit there for a while. Hopefully this thing works pretty good. Now take it off. See if it doesn't spark. No spark. <laughs> this is really good. I like this. Hey, when you do something for the first time, it does make a difference. Look at that. Usually the thing does spark like crazy. I was watching somebody on on YouTube. A couple guys does this. There we go. My is all set up. 
you guys are gonna have this inverter is let me show you the name of the inverter wow this is a chinese inverter i see a couple people test this and this is really good it's supposed to be pure wave 3000 watt i don't like when they put nine to nine six thousand watt i don't like when they do this because this thing can never reach six thousand watt for any time any in any moment at any this i hate when they do this but this is I have seen somebody test it at 3000 right right now i'm gonna test it as a as a 1500 watt and see how fast can if it can run this battery remember this is the whole thing is about the battery and the inverter i wanted to test the battery if we can push 1600 watt it can put it can if we can start this thing this is the the, the heater i'm about to let it run now this is the inverter now I have this inverter. It's right here. Okay. I'm gonna turn it on. Ah, shit. Jesus Christ, I was running on video. Alright, this is the Yeah, let me turn it on for you guys. Is it turned on? I got an alarm here. The alarm come off. I got 52.2 volt. 120 watts. 120 amp. I don't know. 120 volt or AC. 121. I'm just turning on. Set up. It's a 48 volt battery that I have set up. Using a uh, E one two three life for battery, and I set it up on a as a forty eight volt. I took I took a pack. I took another pack and cut it in, in three pieces. Now I have this uh, this this thing. I glue it. I not glue it as I connect them right here together. Then I create a. Uh, I, I, I just soldering iron this and that give me 48 volt. You guys know how to solder an iron. So now I'm about to turn the, the, the I'm about to turn the inverter off. Everything is everything is set to go. So turn it back on. Turn it on. You read the voltage. Now the inverter is good to go. Now this is live. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring my heater, this heater. We will take uh, 1500 watt. Let's see if this thing works. Let's see how long can it run. I think I need to time it. Let's see how long this is this thing run. I plug it in. This thing gonna hit the place. I gotta move it far away. I don't want nothing to heat up. I got my gun. Get ready to see if the battery is okay. Okay, this side of the battery is supposed to. Let's see if the battery is okay. Alright, see how long this thing lasts me. I'm gonna let this thing run for at least five minutes. We can time it from this from this video. Okay, let me tell you from this video. See how long does it last? Test the battery. That's what I'm going to do. Testing the battery. Okay, I'll turn it on. Put. I put it on low. This thing is heating up. Voltage drop. Voltage dropping fast. But did turn it on. Let me put it on high and see what happened. I'll put it on high. This is getting heat up here. So it does start. This is the volt. It does start the the, the heat, the, the heating, the heater. This inverter is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So I don't think I can last five minutes. It's already forty nine. The, bar, the pack of the body is very low. 
So I'm on a 28 volt now, right now. Then it does work. And the pack is a small pack that I have. Let me check this thing. That, if, oh, it's calm. This is pretty nice. I'm checking uh, if the heat on those batteries. Let me see that I have a connection here. It's still normal. This thing was not even running. Okay, now I'm going to try to see if I can start an AC on it. This is the unit. You guys can see the wires on the floor. I'm going to take the wire, take it all the way to the AC room. Now this is the plug for this, for the AC. This is connected to the to the back the, of the of the inverter, and this is the AC. I'm gonna turn the power on and see if it started. Yes, it did. Okay. Now let me pause this. The AC just turned on. Let me check the inverter. This is the inverter. It's running right now. Let me check the voltage. Let me let this thing run. Look like uh, the, the compressor hasn't come on yet. yet. James, can you lower the uh, lower the the temperature for the for the compressor to kick in? No, this is sixty-five. He has a kick in yet. Why it takes so long to kick in? The room is not cold enough. Okay, this is working, but the AC is not kicking in. I don't think it's kicking in. So the inverter is moving fully well. It does the job. Maybe the house is not cold enough. It's not hot enough. So this is, I guess, this is the, the battery. It's, it's 48 volt. I'm gonna try to charge it earlier today. Today I'm gonna try to charge it. Right now, this is the connection. Everything looks working pretty good. Now, this is the inverter. Oh, it's kicking now. Okay, the compressor is kicking now. Compressor is kicking. You can see the... the, the you actually start the inverter, the, the, the AC. You see? You actually start the AC. This is actually start the AC. Now, the AC is fully operational. The reason I can tell because I'm not in that room because you can see the, 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 the voltage is dropping pretty fast. The compressor that AC is working. All right, so I guess this is to tell you guys this is working. The battery is working. This is the battery and this is the inverter. You start the, the heat and you start my heating system or you start the, the, the air conditioning. All right, guys. Right, if you guys like the video, please please subscribe. Well, as you can tell in this video, the inverter does work. Um, I don't need to open the inverter because I have seen it before, so I'll probably do another video for you guys. And on a different time, I will open it. I will open it because I got to ship it out the way it is. So I'm in New York. This thing gonna be shipped to Haiti. This thing gonna run two ACs I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a this is gonna run two ACs in Haiti and I'm gonna have a lot of those batteries so I wanted to know if those batteries good does the job 
one pack is not enough I need to have at least multiple of them so this is about six six hundred six hundred watts and you add the other the the, the, 12, the 16 more batteries it could be about 400 and probably 700 watts this is 600 this should be another 200 this should be a total of 800 watts we take 800 watts we put 10 of them together that can make up that will bring me 10 kilowatts i mean 8 kilowatts i'm gonna have at least 10 pack of those to run that ac at night time okay so now will be the end of this video the inverter is working i just turned it off it's working it's doing the job so i turn it back on then I drop the voltage all the way to 45 because I had the AC kick in. I had the AC running off of it for at least a couple minutes. Uh, it drained it. It was at 48 and dropped it all the way to 44. The inverter looked good. It's not too heavy. I'm going to put that in a suitcase and go to my home country with it. Uh, what else? I'm pretty happy about how this thing turned out to be. Video is not that great. And I probably set up a bench on the garage to do this thing on the garage. Hopefully you guys will have better videos. Okay, so please, please share, subscribe, and like. I will do more of those batteries because I can guarantee you I'm going to have at least at least 50 kilowatt of those batteries. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them coming up. So I will have this thing run a water company. So looking forward for that video. This thing will be set up on parallel. I'm gonna have uh, at least 20 of those on parallel. Each, each, every 10, every 10 is gonna be at least, I think, a, how many watts? About eight kilowatts, a little 18, uh, 16 kilowatts. Of those batteries running on December there at night time, cooling a room. Hopefully, you guys are gonna see the whole video. This is a short video regarding this battery and to see if this thing can run 1500 watts plus um, plus an AC. So it's actually done it. The, I was waiting for the for the compressor to kick in and the compressor just kick in and you can see the draw the voltage drop. I need more of those batteries, which I have a lot of them. I haven't said it on them yet. All right, so share, subscribe, and like. Uh, I'll speak to you guys later. This is a little bit of bonus for you guys because I noticed something. I went to check the voltage of the battery before I, I took the, the inverter off. I just noticed something. Look at the voltage, okay? The whole voltage of the pack this is positive it's 45 okay so let me see if I can back this thing up you can see both hand I'm trying to hold the camera okay this is coming here and this is coming there the voltage is 45, 45, which the inverter says 45 also. Okay. I noticed something now. Okay. I can't get the right proper angle. I'm looking at this pack. It's 39. I started at 39. This pack also falls to 39. And I noticed something here. Okay. When I bring those two together, they give me six volt. Six volt. So I have a feeling that because my connection is not to the whole entire battery, that's why the battery drops so much. Okay, this is what I was telling you, six volt. This should not be. Everybody, every the whole pack should be dropping. They don't drop. They don't drop. See, I got 46 volt. It's only this little thing. It's only this part. 
this is dropping. I think I know what it is because my connection only happens to those top of the battery. It doesn't go all the way through. And I believe some of those batteries is dead. Let me double check on those batteries. All right, let me pause this video and double check the battery to see which one, which is not working 100%. Wow, as I told you guys before, I checked the voltage, 39.8, that's how I begin. So for some strange reason, I don't have, this is supposed to be drawing down. This is a guy that's giving six volt. So I know some of the pack there is not good. So we are about to find out which one is not good. I'm going to mark it. So therefore, and remove those cells out of it. So this is the pack was the zero voltage. I charged it and let's check this thing out. Okay. Okay. Let's see which one. This is two volt. This is two. This is one. This is two. Ah, 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 ah. This pack is not good. This, this battery, this is the lowest one. And for some strange reason, I believe it's not some strange reason. It's the battery. I suppose to tie it up together. They're not tied up together. It's only two of them. I suppose to go the other two. This is supposed to go over here. This is supposed to go over there. For some reason, it doesn't go to. So this pack didn't move. It remained the same voltage. 39. But if you look at this, this battery. It's, it's dropped to zero. 0 0.3. So when I was doing this, that's why I told you guys, this is temporary. This pack is not, this side is not strong. Because this is the weakest link. This battery is 0.3. If you check every one of them, they're going to be 0.3. This is even worse, 0.1. Okay, 0.1. One of those batteries is not good. One of those batteries is not good. If I charge it up, it goes back to 40 volt, 40 volt. Okay. So you have to be careful when you check your battery. Like for example, this pack, I'm going to keep it here. And the other ones, I'm going to ship them out. But I test them first. Every one of them, which is below 36, I keep them here because something wrong with the battery. It's clearly. This is giving 6 volt. It shouldn't be 6 volt. If you check this, 2.2. 1. 1. But it drain. One side is drain. So first of all, I learned something. So I, I make sure the connection goes all the way through. Hmm. 